In 2023, we became the new owners of an abandoned farm in central Portugal. Follow our story of resilience, growth and the pursuit of a more sustainable and fulfilling way of life. Together we'll celebrate the beauty of nature, the joy of learning and the wonders that await as we embrace the Portuguese culture and create our own unique escape within the breathtaking landscape. Right guys, um, very exciting news. So it's another video. We're going to be working on taking the other window out, but the exciting news is... I'm back! She's back. I'm She's back from the UK. Check it up on the work. No, I can't believe the difference. It's just incredible. It's like a different place. I can't, I can really, really, I, I, we've always had the vision, but I can really see it. We're, like in touch and distance now so. so there we go i've got the seal of approval so it's rained quite a lot recently so we have a bit of water coming in on the ground there's some um, sort of wall over from when the winds come in but we have some light in here we have a basic window frame but today we're taking you can't really see it's too dark but we're taking this one out and i have a helper now so when i need someone to pass me a screw Crack the whip. yeah yeah so <laughs> I That's can't it. believe it. It's going to be so, it's, it's just such a difference already. But also, because I explained what I was doing on this window, I think we're against the clock a little bit. So we just time need lapse. to. Time lapse it, going to smash it out, cement it all in. And now on the, la on the last video, I said we'd make the wicker sort of raised bed. So we're going to try and get that, 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 get that on this video, maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll. I think I'll live in quarters. I think my time scales, like in my head, I think we can do da, 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 and then reality, it, yeah. it doesn't get done. I think today we're going to. Okay, let's, get for this video, one. let's get a hole in the wall. Another hole in the wall. And the windows in. Yeah, and the frame's made and see what it looks like with the windows in. Yeah. And see the light this brings. And, and start to seal it all up because the glass bricks needs sealing up. Yeah. So we can do bits like that. Until the room's fully done. Um, these doors are going to stay as they are. Just shut yeah. them. We've, I've bought a little lock to put on them. But we're, we're against the clock at the moment. Yeah. So. But I have a, a drip then. Is it a drip? No, I think it was your eyes. Oh. But um, a very kind, start off as a subscriber, but now you're a friend. Uh, Graham has, um, we're doing a little bit of a, a skill swap for some work. Mm -hmm. And he's going to donate to the cause <laughs> some... Um, some glass windows, some wooden, mainly glass and wood window um, doors, which I think they're a bit too big, but we can always cut some wood off. But I think they'll match the uh, the window, so this could start to turn out like a real nice place. We actually had, um, do you remember we we took a picture of the building and we asked on this Photoshop group if someone could put two windows uh -huh. and a door in to see how it looked. Yeah, and. It's really funny because it's starting to actually look like that, yeah, like, like our that sort of dream. So I'll put a picture on the screen now of that envisionment, and you can see if we're somewhat getting there. Getting there, yeah. But like, like Sophia said, we need to crack on. So <laughs> let's get some work done. Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue. Come away, my room is a mess. It could use a hand, my favorite TV shows are capturing. It's that time where we have to put the Jenny on. So we get a bit of good manual handling. Don't trip over that drill. <laughs> and um, we had some great advice for some, somebody say, saying to be careful about carbon monoxide. So we're going to get this as close to the door as possible. And then um, we need to buy an extension lead. So next, the next time we use it, it's outside completely. Was it not an extension lead on the cement mixer? No, it's about... The cement, we bought an extension lead. Oh yeah, but it's not long enough to have the... I want, oh. I want to have the whole thing inside. Yeah. But, so Via, should we move it a little bit further across? So Via, if you remember, is going to show us how this works. Come on, Sophia, one pull. Bit of a windy day today. Is it that? It doesn't help that I've actually injured my shoulder as well. So. <laughs> 
Come on. Is it? Yeah, I've done something. Is that on? Is it? Yeah. Is the switch on? Oh. Is it on or off? Wait, I can't see. <laughs> that was on. Okay, put it on. That's on. Now, is the fuel on? The fuel's on. No. Choke. Come on. She's doing something. It's like the fence girl. video all over again. to do a little bit of a video of what I'm doing. So people might think I'm, we're mad taking the protective covering off now, but we need to take it off in order to seal everything up. So I'll just do a quick time lapse of me going along. It's more fiddly, fiddly than hard, but um, yeah, there's definitely already some condensation being kept in between the plastic and the, and the roof panel. So it'll be good to get them off, let it all air out. We've got some dry weather coming, seal it all up. And that's another stage done. It looks like cobwebs, like yeah, Halloween, like a Halloween. Like a Halloween party. Yeah. <laughs> We're starting a new feature called clear curtains. <laughs> yeah. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become So where are we now, Sophia? So, Dave has used the circular saw score. The circular, circular saw score. score. The circular saw. No, but yesterday, what did we do yesterday? Oh, so we put the lintel in. And now this morning we're back and we've just cut out, cut out the window basically. And now we just need well, to chisel a bit. We've cut like a strip. Yeah. This is the line where the windows, the edge of the window, where we want to cut it. Yeah. They've done a rough cut inside Next of it. it. Yeah. Just because when we when we did this side, I cut a line around and then had to hammer lots out. Whereas yeah. this means that hopefully we can hammer out this little strip. Like I can already see the push it daylight through. straight through, so most of it so hopefully. and this and this one you're pushing through this one i'm pushing through because i've got to do something because i can only stand around and pass stuff when dave's cutting it out so honestly it's so she's back oh <laughs> it's just amazing isn't it half my uses and she brought me some cholula back which is like my favorite sauce in the world if you haven't tried it and you like sort of medium spicy sauces try it and also she brought me what'd you bring hot cross buns 
buns. Hot cross buns. So, yeah, we're going to do some hammering, try and push it through. You've seen me hammer this one for <laughs> a long time. So we'll come back when we're at the pushing stage. And I've been wearing glasses, masks, ear defenders. I've still got dust on me. It's just a dusty job, isn't it? Very dusty job. I can't wait to get a sweeping brush in here. <laughs> yeah, I think you need more than a, you need a shovel. <laughs> but very soon, there'll be more light in here. Let there be light. <laughs> so after several painstaking hours, have you ever seen that film from Iron Man? I think it's Iron Man 1. There we go, and it's done. It's done. How was that, Sophia? <laughs> we have light. It's amazing how strong this cement is. It's the mortar. The bricks, obviously, you can get through the bricks, but the mortar, oh my Because, gosh. look, hasn't even broke. <laughs> it's like, I just can't even tell you how strong it is. Like, Does it feel like a window? Wow. Let's have a look from afar. It looks like a gaping hole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So there we go. I Need really some tidying. Absolutely well, we'll have a look. We'll have a look inside now. Mm. Yeah, we'll have a look yeah. inside. See the light. Yeah. Pushed out this window. There's rubble everywhere. He, he, man, he, she, she, man. I don't know what the word is. What's the? <laughs> I'm probably using all the wrong <laughs> words in this in this this day and age. So we need to neaten it up. But wow. That'll be our view waking up. Over here, sir. It's like a proper forest. Well, we've put so Great. many holes in the wall now that we're basically outside. <laughs> <laughs> we put a, we we solve this hole and then put three more problems in the wall. Well, two more. But if you hold the camera down lower, because that's what like sort of more eye view, you can just get the shot of the forest. Yeah, I'll show you Sophia. So if it's fair of you, if you stand in the corner. I know we keep talking about height, but I think like I think we're good for height, aren't we? Yeah, we're fine for height. Absolutely fine for height. And then the windows are a little bit low. Go and go in some other window a minute. Maybe do some sit-in like, you know, like window seats. That'd be nice because they're not. Originally, we wanted to put like something under the window, but it's maybe a bit too. Oh, oh they're okay, I suppose. Yeah. You put a floor level in, maybe we lose a few centimeters, but. But yeah, just below the hip height. But it's starting to feel like like a nice space. We've got nice green outside. So I think now we need to crack on and. Cement the lintel in, yeah. Oh, they're all fine. I uh, just need to put, fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps, so yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, make the frame for the other window. Fill in the frame. No, I think today now, whilst we've got the cement mixer going, I think fill in the glass bricks. Yeah. Dave's been, it's a job that Dave, I don't know, like, a con, like, it's, on, it's like windows. Okay, bricks. okay, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what it is. I've been up a ladder. I've been chipping cement and mortar and doing mixes for... They're not going to see us with the light behind us. For weeks. I just want an easy job. I want to plant some seeds. <laughs> I want to... I want to paint a wall. I want to... We're almost there. I want to go to Ikea and buy some <laughs> jam jars. Ikea. <laughs> but this is big progress. This is yeah. big progress. So fill in the gaps with some cement. Fit, box in the glass bricks. Yeah. yeah, try and seal off the room. Seal off the room. And then we can, I suppose, foam fill everything kind of around foam the edge. Everything. Chuck some cement and stuff in, and at least we've got a somewhat sealed room. Yeah, and then we, and then we'll do the window frame. <laughs> never the ends. Window. It never ends. Right, let's get to it. I've been running least looking for sunset, digging deep since now. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. Give, you get 
so we're back it's the next day um we managed to get everything oh, sort of terrible. <laughs> um concreted it concreted in and all the holes filled up and now we're just about to test how the mix set because and Dave went to press the lint on. I said, hang on a minute, what did you stick to our wall yesterday? Can they see it? This is the stain, you might have to come a bit closer. <laughs> this is Sophia's quality concrete mix. The stone's pretty, it'll come off if I hammer it, but like, <laughs> it's, it's stuck. Good old mix, so well done Sophia. <laughs> and get it because obviously the light is coming through it we have a window sort of a window we have a window um the gaps around the edge we need to yeah. sort out a little bit fine tuning is needed but we are going to take them off and sand and paint them at some point anyway right now we just need to get them the frames on and the windows on yeah. so that we can do the other one clear out this room and put the floor in so um that's going to be a job once we're here um and we have like a day free that's the day is to he's gone up the ladder <laughs> oh, look all right and they're so, in they're solid um they're in they're solid you put some rockets in some water yeah they're pretty so, nice but they just need a bit of a freshen up and to um i put some more substantial wood yeah. Against this wood here to beef it up a little bit. And it's, although it's mortared in and it's, it's fixed, it's not going it's, anywhere. Yeah. Just to give it a bit more and to make it, because these, this is what I was trying to explain the other day. Can you see this room here? This is like a draft proof room. So when you shut the door, it sits here. So if I'd got a chunky piece of wood, yeah, it we wouldn't, I couldn't that. shut the door. Yeah. And I haven't got a router to, to 
just to bevel out that gap. So I'm gonna, I've got a slightly thinner, a one centimeter thick piece of wood. This is five to four centimeters. I'm going to, I'm going to drill that in here and then get a more substantial piece on top and probably dowel it in so we can paint it. And then when we shut the window, this will go in there. So it should. And it might be, um, we might work in like the fly screen into that extra piece of wood as well. Or um, some nice shutters. Or some nice shutters or something like that. But for now, we have a window. It looks better than the breeze block. Yeah, it looks better than the breeze block. And we are one step closer to having a watertight, wind tight, mostly wind tight <laughs> room. So yeah, there you go guys. So our puppy is a bit of a sun worshipper. I don't want to block your sun, buddy. Say hello to the people. You can lie down. Bless him. Morning, guys. Um, we're about to go down to the cow shed to finish up the last window. Um, but I just wanted to show you some of these trees and how nice they're doing. Camellia is all flowering. I think this is um, a peach tree. Absolutely stunning. And then our, um, our sort of pond is sort of full. So yeah, roll on spring. But after we finish this cow shed today, after the window gets put in, we can come back to a bit of a nicer gardening project. The plan will be hopefully um, strim or this area, then get the ride on mower out and keep the grass nice and low. Then we can real start to tend to some of the trees, plant some more trees, plant some more bushes. I'd love to plant some gooseberries, some mulberries, and some raspberries and blueberries. So that'd be lovely. But yeah, what a lovely start to the day. Beats Birmingham for sure, I can tell you that. Down to the cow shed. Sophia's just unlocking the um, unlocking. Right? <laughs> I was unlocking, it's a bit of metal around <laughs> a, a, a broken gate. <laughs> it's more so, we're not worried about intruders, <laughs> we're worried about the, the wild boar that seemed to come through from this field here into this field. And we're quite happy for them to do whatever they're doing, but we don't want them to come through this gate into this field purely because we've got tools down here and. The last thing I wanted them to is, is to rub against the asbestos tiles before they're taken away and break any. So yeah, this, this field's off bounds. And um, I've got to say, first of all, that's looking nice, but the weather's really perked up today. And oh, this field, this field looks lovely. I really want to get two little lambs on this field, to start munching on the grass. That'd be lovely when it's fair. Two little lambs, what should we call them? Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That's not a bad name. So yeah, two little lambs on the way. Chickens, lambs, two horses. That'll do us for now, won't it? Yeah. And another and, dog. And another rescue dog and a little cat. <laughs> we saw, I don't know if you can sort of saw on, on the video earlier, but there was a little ginger cat walking across the land there. So um, 
don't know if it's homeless, but if it is, it's got a home here. So, <sighs> at the end of the day, this window is going to be in, frame in, window in, all everything cemented in, locked in place, and clear out. Clear out. And this part of the story is then done. And what's next? Floor. South leveling floor. <laughs> What's that saying, which I've said about a million times this on this channel? Uh, what is it? Uh, measure twice, build once. I think we measured once. And now we're building and twice. And now we're building twice because <laughs> this frame is too skinny. Narrow. I think we'd, we'd it, was a, it was a late part of the day, so I think we'd measured. And we had gone to Bricko twice already. Yeah, I think we measured the, the, the length of the, to the two windows mm -hmm. together. And then we just put that on top of the top of the frame where we didn't allow for the these bits. So we need to take it apart. So yeah, let's redo it. We made it and now we need to redo it. So, quick update, um, all the plastics off from the roof panels, um, everything's concreted in, cemented in, uh, we've gone around the glass bricks as well, Dave is just working on the windowsill that he's just done a first layer so that it's easier for us when we render, um, so I'm going to foam around the window whilst he does his nice little first. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's just, we put some cement in just so one, water can't get into the house, but also add a slight curve on. So it just means that any water that hits here will run off, so. We'll see. Almost done. We're on the last window. Um, the window was a little bit warped, as is probably the wooden frame. So we had to take a slither of wood off the bottom. And it looks like it could be, I don't know if you can see that, maybe mahogany or rosewood, but more than likely mahogany. So nice, nice good piece of wood to work with, but I won't keep, keep you guys too long because Sophia's stuck behind 
the window, propping it up. We've got all the hinges on. The last one is going on now. And we hope it opens, so. We have to take some hardware off, so let's see. Let's see. Last three screws. We do want to color match the screws eventually, but right now we haven't got any. This came out. Right. Keeping the people waiting. Sophia, if on the last little bit, the window goes. <laughs> We've pre-drilled some pilot holes here. Oh, that felt like it butted up then. Well, let me, hang on, let me move this. Move all the tools. And then it's the moment of truth, truth in a moment. And then I'll pop that in my pocket. Roll it, give it a push. The top's a bit jammed. Push, give it a little, no, no, no. So we may need a little bit of a sand. Give me a push. There you go. <laughs> That's the sign of a tight window. Um, Ain't so no yeah, drafts getting in there. Maybe a little bit, um, a little bit off the top because there's a quite yeah. a thick amount of paint. Mm -hmm. That one's definitely tight. Mm -hmm. I don't want to top it. Oh, it's nice and secure. So, guys, we have a window. We'll put the hardware back on. We'll show you what it looks like from outside, but... Ah, it's in. It's in. It's a window, it's in, it functions, it opens, it lets light in, it lets... That's the outside. We have windows. They need fine tuning, but we have windows. So this one over here is maybe a little bit too loose. So yeah, we definitely have some fine tuning to do. I uh, don't need to move that. Hardware. I'm going to lower than that, it should be fine. So let's shut this one. This one's got a bit of a gap around it, so we need to get some of that foam stuff. But that one. Why isn't someone shutting now? <laughs> just thinking the way. That one shuts. You just, it's like a two handed job. That one shuts. Yeah, it's like. Oh, I'll let you shut it. Put it in mine. Ah, so that one shuts okay. It's a two. This one, not so much, but Sophia, we have windows. Oh, we have windows, I can't believe it. It has sort of delayed us by two weeks. Two weeks? Well, mm. no, you weren't here two weeks ago, but I was here just in that windows two weeks ago. So, well, it might be a week and a half, but that's it. We've got a really exciting project to show you. We'll give you a sneak peek, but we maybe have to wait for that for next week. But we will be next week. Can you see? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Let's have a little, a little job down here. I'll give you a sneak quick peek. What's that over there? What's this little structure here? Who knows? Um, you'll find out next week, but <sighs> I think tomorrow we're gonna start on clearing the room, or today, clear the room and get it ready for a self level because we are a long way off being ready for self level. But we also feel we're doing this hole in the floor. So we've got the, the matching bricks had to cut them size. So we have to do a mix shortly, but that's all for another video. So, so next week, South we should floor. have clear, clear inside and clear outside, and a solid floor, solid level floor. Solid level finished floor. Yeah. So.
And then it's on to plasterboarded. Well, thanks for watching. This might be quite a long one because it's been a long process, but yeah. windows. Next up is going to be a door, but I think the light it brings in is it's def definitely, definitely worth, worth it. it. So definitely worth it. Thanks for watching. Next week, fun things. Much more progress. Almost there. Almost there. So guys, have a lovely weekend. Thanks and for tuning in. We'll and if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, if you've made it this far, well done. So, see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. In the depths of silence, where echoes remain, you are the sunrise, and I was the rain. Collision of souls opposing and fly. I was the darkness, you yearn for the light.